Hello all, welcome. This is J1939 uh, overview introduction session. And please subscribe to our channel if you did not subscribe to our channel by clicking subscribe button. So um, before getting into this, you need to have an you need to go through the CAN introduction that is controller area network, which is an international standard defined in ISO 11898 for a high speed and ISO 1151. 9 hyphen 2 for low speed so such things uh, you can refer in our previous video if you we are continuing with this assuming that you know controller area network let me introduce you to j1939 sae j1939 communication network is developed for use in heavy duty environments and suitable for horizontally integrated vehicle industries the sae j191939 communications network is applicable for light duty medium duty and heavy duty vehicles used on road or off road and for appropriate stationary applications which use vehicle derived components example generator sets vehicle of interest include but um, but are not limited to on highway on highway and off highway trucks and their trailers construction equipment and agricultural equipment and implements uh, just like a procliner procliner is an example for it okay we will see what are all the abbreviations used um, in the entire article uh, including the pre including the all the articles which follow with the j9 1939 and uh, let's see the some of the abbreviations API application program interface can controller area network and can ID so controller area network identifier and CRC cyclic redundancy check DM diagno, uh, diagnostic message DTC diagnostic trouble code ECU electronic control unit um, LSB least significant Mm, uh, least significant bit or byte msb most significant bit or byte and um, osi that is open system interconnection pgn pgn is parameter group number and rtr is a remote transmission request so you need to uh, remember these stuffs if uh, if you have any uh, if you have any doubts no, you have to refer back to this uh, whenever I am using these terms. Terms. Let's right away get on to the J1939 overview. Uh, <clears throat> overview. The following figure shows an overview of 19 uh, J1939 functionality. Each J1939 uh, service is described in a separate uh, separate section. So initially let's look into it. There is a CAN pie or CAN driver at the bottom and then J1939 manager would be there. On top of it you have a PGN handler, transport protocol, diagnostics and PGN, PGN handler will be communicating with PGN list and network management and timing management as you can see here the j1939 protocol stack uses a well-defined can api called can pie pi to the can interface and thus can be adopted to any kind of can controller the can pi api is not described in this section mm. we will see it in uh, in the future videos so let's get into some of the naming con conventions in the j1939 so all functions structures defined defines and constant value of j1939 stack have the prefix j1939 underscore okay the following table shows the used nomenclature functions like j1939 underscore service name service name enumeration uh, j e j1939 underscore name structure j1939 underscore name underscore s defines uh, like j1939 underscore service 
and underscore name error codes ej1939 underscore error name error underscore name this is how the naming con naming conventions would be used in our programming for j1939 let's look into message router so <clears throat> message router for uh, reading and writing can message between j1939 protocol stack and the can bus we just saw in our overview uh, diagram there is a communication between can uh, bus and uh, protocol stack right can pi api and its a buffer concept is used to access the can interface on the different target platforms can messages are transmitted and received by different can message buffer depending upon the j1939 service a specific can message buffer will be selected this is how the detailed view of can pi buffers and associated j1939 here you can see we have a can bus at the bottom and can pi buffer uh, will be the second layer and in the can pi buffer we have these uh, functions ej1939 underscore buffer underscore tp underscore ack acknowledgement um, so there are three functions which are connected to transport protocol in the j1939 stack uh, that is um, buff underscore tp underscore as ACK and uh, buff underscore TP underscore BAM and buff underscore PDO underscore T TRM which will be will also be working with uh, PGN handler and PGN handler has two functions that is buff underscore B PDO underscore TRM buff underscore PGN underscore requ REQ that's a request pgn request and uh, network management so buff underscore address and uh, and the stack uh, j1939 manager uh, will be communicating single duplex as well as uh, network management is uh, only uh, is bidirectional and pgn handler is single uh, <coughs> directional and then j j1939 we will see a in detailed uh, video coming upcoming video called next video would be j1939 manager we'll see that at the moment you kindly remember this structure so finally the application these uh, all these uh, buffer or stack should finally reach the application something like MGR manager event receive timeout manager on buff bus off uh, event claim address NMT get new address something like that onto the application layer so this is just for your reference I spoke to it we will see what kind of file structures uh, that are implemented or the file structure in the Mm, that will make you understand better about this message router so let's see into the file structure so all header files and implementation files of j1939 protocol stacks are located in the source directory so here you can see broadcast announce messages bam bam.c or .h okay configuration file conf.h and diagnostics access memory uh, or diag underscore mem dot c so you can see the, all the corresponding uh, corresponding functions uh, or file structure so if you see at last uh, <clears throat> there is j1939 underscore user dot c which contains all variables and functions that require an adaption to the target system is it so this is how the file structure would be we will see with a small initialization how can we initialize a um, j1939 with a minor example so j1939 protocol is initialized by calling j1939 underscore mgr initialize 
So this function will set up the CAN controller and initialize all necessary um, services. Afterwards, the protocol stack can be started by calling the J1939 underscore MGR start. That is manager start. J1939 manager start function. So in summary, there are three steps uh, to run the J1939 protocol stack. One is initialize J1939 protocol stack, start J1939 protocol stack, start the timer event function. So we will just see that I'll just pop up a small program here. So here initialize the stack. So this is the function for initialization. So this the initialization function of J1939 protocol stack have to be executed prior to any other API functions that is application program interface before we start. See MGR init ECP channel 1 comma 1 J1939 configuration bitrate underscore 250k that this macro has been called into that function initialize j9 j1939 stack ecu address is 1 bitrate is 250 kilobits per second the meaning of this and you start j1939 manager start and now the j1939 stack is initialized and has to be triggered by calling manager timer event with a cycle time of j1939 underscore timer period okay we will see further into our next video would be on uh, j1939 manager in detail where we will be discussing about the initialization of j1939 manager um, initialization configuration options etc in detail in the coming video so please kindly subscribe for more updates on such <clears throat> concepts thank you by clicking subscribe button thank you